everybody, it's me again, Pamela, and I know it's been a long time since I've done an Invisalign update. I think the last one were, uh, was on Tray 10. Um, I think I got just a little discouraged with them because after Tray 10, I was supposed to be uh, pretty close to finishing. I only had um, one more set of trays to go, and I was finished on the bottom set, actually. And so, um, my teeth were still not in the position that they should have been in, so we had to order more trays. And so that was in November, and here we are into March, and I am just now finishing. Today was my actually my last day, and I got my retainers. So this is my very first time talking with this uh, top retainer in, and it is extremely hard. I'm, I don't think I ever had this much trouble with my Invisalign trays. And I got the traditional wire, um, the wire uh, retainer. Um, I'm so tired of those plastic trays, and I don't care how much you clean those things. They, after two or three weeks, they are just not clear anymore. I've done everything from infrared tablets to um, brushing with um, cleaners, soaps, and things like that, and they just will not stay clear. And I did not want to get a plastic retainer that I was going to wear six months straight and 24-7, uh, and it turned cloudy on me. So I just told her I want the traditional wire since I have to wear the retainer six months, 24 hours a day, except when eating. And then after six months, then I get to go to wearing it just at night. So uh, I got the retainer care and cautions and instructions on wearing them. And um, it's been a long time since I had to wear a retainer. Most of these things are common sense, of course. But I also got the retainer on the bottom, and it's the bonded retainer, so it's in there permanently. This bottom tooth is the one I've always had trouble with, and to be honest with you, even after having, let's see now, I've had 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 trays now total, and I can take the bottom tray out, and within 30 minutes, that tooth has moved again. So now it is it is now in place where it should be, and now I have the bonded retainer on, so now it cannot move, and so I'm really happy about that. I can't even really tell much about the bottom retainer. I can just uh, feel a little roughness behind my teeth. That's no big deal. This top retainer is going to be, uh, takes some getting used to because it's just really hard to talk right now. But, uh, of course, you have the, the normal things not to boil your retainer, not to flip your retainer with your tongue. That's the first thing I said to, to her, I, the, my orthodontist. I remember back when I wore a retainer before. Uh, if you recall, when I was in my late 30s, I wore braces, and then I wore my retainer, and I was a terrible retainer wearer. And so that's why my teeth shifted, and that's why I'm back in uh, the Invisalign. But I told the orthodontist, I remember being able to, after wearing your retainer for a little while, being able to just flip it out with your tongue. And, and that's the first thing she said. That is a big no-no. And it's on here. Do not flip retainer with your tongue. Do not put it in the dishwasher. Do not put in direct sunlight or leave in direct sunlight. Uh, leave them where children or small pets can get to them. Do not wrap your retainer in a napkin or tissue. Don't put them in your pocket. Make sure you put them in your protective case. Wear at all times, including during sleep, unless instructed otherwise. Uh, brush your teeth and retainers, follow at each meal and snack. At least rinse your mouth out with water before placing retainers in mouth. Uh, be gentle when removing, wearing, or placing your retainers in your mouth. We want to maintain the dimension of the retainer. Do keep your retainers in a protective case when not wearing. Always bring your retainers with you to your appointments. So. The only reason why I'm going over all this is because I need practice talking. I'm here by myself today. It's the first day of spring break. No one to talk to except for my uh, little Molly, and he's not saying too much back. So anyway, I decided I would go ahead and give this update, and uh, that is pretty much it. Uh, my teeth are straight. They look pretty good. Now I can't wait to make my dental appointment and uh, get my teeth clean really good and, and checked out and make sure that, you know, I don't need anything else done. 
And they did polish my teeth today, so that was good. And she did shave a little bit off of uh, the top ones, uh, you know, to kind of even, even them up a little bit, because one was just a slightly lower than the other, even with, you know, after all the correction. So, anyway, uh, would I do it again, do the Invisaligns again? I don't think so. That's my consensus. I would have gone with the traditional braces after doing it this whole time. Um, it's not that the, the trays were bad. It's just, uh, I just felt like they were grubby in my mouth. No matter how much, you know, you clean them and everything, like I said, they get cloudy. And it just felt, they just didn't feel good in my mouth. They just felt dirty all the time. So, um, I just don't like the thought of leaving a big chunk of plastic in my mouth that really, you start out nice and pretty and clear every time you put a new one in, and by the time you, it's time to change another one, it is really just cloudy. I mean, it just doesn't look pretty. So, I was always self-conscious of that. At least with uh, regular braces, I know you can't take them out, but at least you can brush the whole thing, you can use toothpaste, and uh, your braces are going to be as fresh as your mouth is. So, uh, other than that, um, I think the, the irritation you get in your gums and things like that, no different than regular braces, so might as well, to me, go cheaper, uh, use the regular braces, and I just wouldn't do the Invisalign again, personally. So that is my take on them, and um, this will be the last video I do on Invisalign, so if you want to see me anymore, you'll have to watch all my other uh, home videos and silly videos and all the other kind of things I do. So anyway, toodaloo.